You're listening to Battle, Battle of, of the, the Epic, Epic. Episode 2, The Inciting Incident. The Perch was located at the far east of Cold Classic Village, a towering airport of 27 stacked landing platforms. Mall rats and Ghostbusters 2 followed the directions Howard gave them to the 11th deck. The only way any cinematic can be a pilot is if it crossed over. An independent with strong box office or a genre film with critical acclaim. The platform was mostly empty, with many of the vehicles gone, making it easy for mall rats to spot the jet black 64 Chevy Malibu with the Condor wings. Pulp Fiction smoked a cigarette behind the steering wheel with a woefully bored expression on her face. Let me do all the talking, all right? She'll eat you alive. They approached the car. Let's get this over with. Hello to you too, buckaroo. Mall rats opened the passenger side door, leaning the seat forward to let in Ghostbusters 2. You're right in the back. Puffin stuff's up front. What? Say what again. I double dare you. She's all yours. So which one of you Tweedles has the cash? Mall rats leaned forward, placing the wad of bills on the dashboard. Pulp Fiction rifled through the money before putting it down her bra. Okay, we happy. Gentlemen, we're on a three hour flight headed west to Blockbuster Kingdom. Buckle up and brace for takeoff. Now before we go, does anyone have to use the little boy's room? Actually, I- The Malibu blasted forth, soared above the night sky. What's that? The internet. It's huge. You threaten? I make the dick jokes. All nine bridges stretch out to each kingdom. The Malibu dove below the clouds. Mall rats was in awe of the electric steel bridges that formed a nonagon around the land. Impressive. And they'd be great if it wasn't for all the troll. A giant fireball launched into the passenger side jet engine, sending the Malibu rapidly towards the jungle wasteland. What's going on here? Will you shut up? I need to concentrate to land this mother tipped the Malibu vertically, with the damaged side raised and the remaining wing cutting into the ground below. Now that we're on the ground, I'd like some answers. Pretty sure that was a troll attack. Exactamundo. Great. Any amplifiers? One on me, one in the glove. Rats? Left it at the office. Ghostbusters 2 opened the glove box, taking out the amplifier. A leather belt with a circular speaker in the front. Pulp Fiction exited out the driver's side door. Ghostbusters 2 crawled out of the passenger side window. Mall rats followed. Further away from the wreck, Ghostbusters 2 handed Mall rats the amplifier. You're not taking it? You have more tracks. Seven of those are sketches. Fourteen aren't, and besides... Extending his hand, Ghostbusters 2 emitted a small ball of proton energy. I have other ways of defending myself. Cool, cowboys. I hear him coming. Mall rats. Put on the amplifier, turning the central dial to 11. The three formed a circle to see in each direction. There was a rustling from above before an eight-foot troll jumped from the nearest tree. Ghostbusters 2 was quick to incinerate it with the proton blast. Remaining trolls leapt into the fray. Pulp Fiction was quick to turn on her amplifier. Her orange sound wave shredded the troll in front of her. She leapt over its fried carcass to face three others before the body hit the ground. Ghostbusters 2 had both hands out, emitting ropes of proton beams around two trolls. Mall rats. Opponent was a large troll with a wooden club. The cinematic dodged left, then right, before facing the troll. Free your mind. <laughs> The green sound waves shredded the troll apart. Music echoed throughout the jungle forest, yet the more trolls they killed, 
the more were there to take their place. The three were overwhelmed, their amplifiers torn from their waists as they were put in chains. The trolls marched them to the nearest internet bridge. On their arrival, they passed through a digital wall into a stone cavern, taken to a prison and thrown into a cell. So I'm new to this whole troll epidemic. Are they gonna eat us or... A weakened voice called out from the shadowy corner of the cell. Worse than that. The figure came into the light, revealing herself to be Ghostbusters. She was malnourished, her long brown hair disheveled, her red and white gown torn and muddied, far from broken, but incredibly tired. Struggling to walk, Ghostbusters 2 caught her before she collapsed. How did you even get here? You were at the tower before we left. That thing they sent back is not me. You want to know what the trolls are up to? They're copying us! You've reached the conclusion of Battle of, of the Epic Episode 2, The Inciting Incident. Stay tuned as the adventure continues. Today's episode was written, voiced, and edited by Drew Manning. Today's intro and outro music was the song Suspended in Disaster by Rise Records artist Dance Gavin Dance from their album Artificial Selection, available on all streaming platforms. Feel free to drop a line at thedruniverse82 at gmail.com, Twitter handle Drew Manning, and Instagram Manning Drew. And as always, here's some more!